Hello, I'm Dr. Teresa Wright. I'm a board certified pediatric dermatologist. I am also division chief for pediatric dermatology here at Labonner Children's Hospital. I am a member of the team who sees patients here in the TS Center of Excellence. I see many of the patients who come here to be seen in the TS Center. And today I'm here to answer some questions that were posted on our TS Center Facebook page. One question that we get a lot is about sun protection and particularly in patients who have tuberous sclerosis. Uh, as a dermatologist, I am always emphasizing the importance of daily sun protection for everyone, but we do know that sun exposure can cause some changes in the skin that can promote growth of facial angiofibromas. So I think it's particularly important for patients who have tuberous sclerosis to be very vigilant about their daily sun protection. And I always say this is every day. If you're getting sunlight, you if you're getting daylight, you're getting sunlight and you need to use sun protection every day, not just if you're going to the beach or you're going to be outside for, um, you know, sports or something like that. In terms of specific products, I, I typically recommend um, sunscreens that contain physical blockers. That means ingredients like titanium uh, dioxide and zinc oxide because those are very safe and they're very gentle on skin that may be more sensitive. So I would look for that for a uh, main ingredient. And I would also look for a product that has an SPF of at least 30 and make sure that you're looking for a product that has broad spectrum protection and that is um, water and sweat resistant. There's really no such thing as completely waterproof sunscreen, but you wanna look for products that are resistant to sweat and water. Um, sometimes we get asked about the number on SPF, and um, as I said before, you want a minimum of an SPF of 30. Up to about 50, you get a little bit more protection in terms of the sun uh, protection, but beyond that, you're really not getting more protection for your money, so you don't need to look for any product that has SPF of more than 50. Um, ideally, sunscreen should be applied to the skin about 20 to 30 minutes before going outside, and then should be reapplied frequently. I usually say at least every two hours, but more often if you're sweating or swimming. For patients who may be using a topical rapamycin cream for their facial angiofibromas, what I would recommend is that you just apply apply that at nighttime before bed, and then in the morning you use your sunscreen. We did receive a question about whether sun exposure might promote development of periungual fibromas. Uh, to my knowledge, there has not been any link proven to um, exist between uh, sun exposure and development of, of those fibromas. Um, there is some suggestion that uh, trauma to the nails may uh, stimulate development of those. So I typically recommend that kids are in well-fitting shoes and then you try to limit trauma to the fingers and toes as much as possible, but that's impossible to completely prevent. Thank you so much for sending us your questions about tuberous sclerosis and skin. And if you have any additional questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section or post them on the Facebook page and we will be happy to answer them in the future. Thank you.